You know, the, the name of rendezvous comes from um, the rendezvous of the pure watchmaking craftsmanship and what we call it the manufacturers, the rare um, craftsmanship dedicated to the decoration and personalization of, uh, of the watches themselves. So uh, you have, uh, uh, I said, the, uh, the watchmaker that is in charge of developing the movement, assembling them, and on the other side you have all the craftsmanship dedicated to the gem setting, to the enabling, to uh, the gear shape of the die, realization of the die. So we try to have this craftsmanship coming very well together into, um, into the rendezvous, because we think that uh, uh, this ladies line deserve uh, to have the best of our watchmaking uh, uh, craftsmanships and as well the best of our uh, hard craftsmanships of, uh, of, the, of the manufacturer itself. And uh, you have the version in 29mm uh, with the automatic movement. Very interesting movement when you see the movement itself. 967-8 uh, for the movement, for the movement, uh, for the movement definition. Very interesting in this technical characteristic. Very reliable, uh, uh, very, um, uh, I would say, one of a kind for what we call a ladies' automatic movement. Probably the best, one of the best of its category ever in this kind of in, in this kind of proportion. And the twenty nine will have will have the day night indicator. The day and night has a day and night indicator for sure. And uh, in the thirty four, you have another automatic movement of the Jean Le Coup. Um And in the uh, here, you are in the family of the eight nine nine. Are uh, very thin as well. Same story the 967, and uh, you will see our, our by if proportion. We speak from small by the proportion, very thin, uh, while being very robust, precise, uh, highly decorated, um, uh, qualitatively decorated movement. And that's a kind of luxury de le You have two watches, the same indication of day and night, mm -hmm. but we are using two different automatic movements and calibers. Mm -hmm. That's a pure, I would say, a pure luxury. And no maison is anymore doing this kind of things. Normally, if already you have a movement, you are happy enough, and then you encapsulate that movement, or particularly when it comes to ladies' watches, in any size. Now, at Jager, that's like one movement, one watch, uh, one dial, and that's particularly the case uh, with, uh, with the rendezvous. Then you have a third variation of the rendezvous uh, that exists with the tourbillon. Uh, and, uh, and then you have uh, um, a variation of the rendezvous uh, with the marquetry of uh, Mother of Pearl and with the day and night indicator uh, in uh, 36 uh, millimeter. Um, and you have a uh, uh, um, um, uh, high craftsmanship uh, and high watch making uh, tourbillon one, which is made of a uh, marquetry of uh, enameling Mother of Pearl uh, and tourbillon. In fact, we are launching the, the rendezvous with the film festival. Uh, and uh, the first one of uh, the series is Shanghai. Then that's followed by uh, Mostra, and that was followed by Abu Dhabi. But uh, uh, the agenda, I'm not, I'm not commanding the agenda of the film festival, so our agenda follows the agenda of the film festival. Fantastic. Now, uh, we, uh, we see a development of fine watchmaking and mechanical watches for ladies everywhere in the world. Uh, we see a, a demand for uh, thinner, more elegant, more sophisticated watches for women everywhere in the world. Uh, and for sure in Asia, but not only. Uh, 